Incoming. Containers. Is this just a distribution center, or do you think they're planning something? Housing people like cargo. Just another resource to be exploited. Hey. What do you want? Shh! Not so loud! How'd you know it was me? That's what the disguise is for. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. Oh, yeah, I guess it's kinda neato. Oh, what's it matter? Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. There are many types of intelligence, Mr. Holcomb. For example, your, uh, expertise on the field. Your hack attack is nothing short of brilliant. Oh, so you're the inspector. Hope you have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions, so you can find Helen's killer. So, uh, how do I help? Oh. The picnic. Right. I get real mad sometimes. Ugly mad. Something I've been working on, but when Helen said we were through, I... I lost it. Helen meant everything to me. I didn't take the split well. And now I can never apologize.
Are you saying... You really think I had something to do with her death? Is that what you're saying to me right now? Because if you think I'd... Deep breaths, birdie. In and out. Deep breaths. Helen is... Was the love of my life. She was really someone special. I'd have done anything for her. Anything. I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. You know, soaked, muddled, preserved. Looter, half shot, void lush, on the Byzantine swizzle, starry. One bit down, three bits up, spread across the spectrum, top heavy. Should I go on? The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow? There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. Oh, wow. That's real clever of you to figure out. Helen would have liked you, I'd wager. Say, is the cow okay? That's good. I hope she doesn't have a hangover or nothing. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Mmm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. Nah, she sent a note to my hotel room before we, you know, split. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I noticed. Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. Long story short, I got out of there. Ran like the Rangers were down by three, and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. I don't. All we did was talk, I swear. It's just, I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I used to calm down. Uh, 
That sounds like a good idea. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Oh, yeah, you'll probably want to... Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Helen sure did have the prettiest handwriting. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Sorry. Here you go, Inspector. Hopefully they make more sense to you. I couldn't make heads or tails of them. Either she was writing in code, or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. I know, I know that. But you gotta believe me. I would never hurt Helen, no matter how drunk I was. You could preserve me in Spectrum Brown, and I wouldn't even look at her funny. I want to help you find our killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? Hey, pal, over here. Hey there, you are looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little more kick? Bold claim, I know. But I wouldn't lie to you, friend. The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the Anticleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. What do I sell? I've got premium shit, my friend. Vitamins like you wouldn't believe. Calcium, vitamin D, reverse vitamin D. I got everything, my friend. You got stress problems? I got stress solutions. Aromatherapy, eases the mind. Diluted mantis or essence, best kept secret in the business. And if you're a real freak, techniques to calm yourself by fooling your own mind. If they can tame the rage of a certain well-known toss ball star, they can help anybody. Wait, you ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. Can't argue with that logic. Yeah, I know, Birdie. What do you want to know?
You may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. Nah. What Bertie's got is a stress problem. He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. And then you throw in playing tossed ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Come on. Bertie's a damn good hacker. But taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. Yeah, that was me. Bertie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. Yeah. Damn shame about that. Bertie thought the world of Helen, you know? He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Inspector? I'm pleased to hear that. Bertie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers property. When Helen was murdered, Bertie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Try not to feel too bad for him. Birdie is a brilliant athlete. The universe has balanced his talent by making him a slack wit. I wasn't aware Birdie was involved in contraband. What kind of dealer are we talking about? Uh, of course, you're right. My apologies. Bertie's behavior is my problem to solve, not yours. Even if Bertie isn't responsible for Helen's murder, his conduct is vexing to me. He may require a lesson in consequences. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Black Hole Birdie killed Helen? Uh, 
Understood. I appreciate your candor. I'd like you to continue your investigation. Notify me as soon as you're ready to make a formal accusation. I appreciate that. I'd rather keep Bertie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. I'll make my report of your investigation into Bertie. Do you have anything else for me?
wonder if all these cargo containers are stored here for any legitimate reason. Or just to give Sublight more opportunities for larceny. You. You got an appointment? Yeah, that's why you're here. Appointment? No appointment? No talking to Mr. Kincannon. Hm. Not entirely out of the question. Convince me. Inspector, you said. Well, maybe he'll appreciate your blunt charms. Maybe not. We'll see what he has to say. Mr. Kincannon, got an inspect... Mm. Don't keep Mr. Kincannon waiting. Are you crazy? Ah, Inspector. Eileen is my right-hand woman and the finest assistant to ever grace this office. She is also tremendously skilled in causing physical harm. I recommend you do not insult her with any further attempts at intimidation. Now then, here for my alibi, I assume? Another murder? Drunk raptidons? Black Hole Birdie, practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. Slug uniforms do seem to go missing from the hotel laundry with impressive regularity. Easy enough for someone to nick a few. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs slug gear and send them after you? Right again, Inspector. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? Oh, that's good. That's very good, Inspector. I like this. Dominant. Aggressive. Hmm? The man in charge. I don't want to accuse anyone without hard evidence, though it may be worth noting Ludovico has motivation in spades. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. Well, that's settled. I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah, torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? I could invent a better alibi than torture a man to death if you'd like. Perhaps something salacious, or one where I break contract bylaws. <laughs> Lou would adore that. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie, and I am, incriminatingly, people. Watch your tongue, Inspector. I'd hate for one of my people to overhear you insulting me and decide to cut it out of you. I digress. The point is, I've admitted to being elsewhere the night of Helen's murder. Besides, I have no motive. 
Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. Why, Inspector, that's terrible. Besides, given how long she was likely to live and continue working, the math doesn't work out. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. Oh, Elliot stole from me, all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular isolated incident, and as such, does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. Nothing unsavory, and nothing Ludovico shouldn't know about, if that's your concern. I'm quite serious when I say Slug is a legitimate business. As to the specifics, I'm not sure. The warehouse foreman should be able to tell you. <laughs> Before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. I'm not sure... I'm only confident there is one. That the thefts began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. I certainly wouldn't take that bet. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads, me scheming in my office, preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> You do recall, Inspector, that I'm not to be trusted? But certainly, whatever you say. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. And do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. What? No. Law, <laughs> no. Why in the architect's name would you think that? Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublet to construct the Eridanos atmospheric complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lou's an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. It was all perfectly legal, too, which irked Lou to no end. My power grab, as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. Alas, I can't. I am, first and foremost, the head of Slug, and it simply wouldn't be good for business. 
Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. <laughs> oh, that does sound fun, though. Is securing a board seat for Sublight evil enough? Surely we can at least agree that it's grand. Meanwhile, our dear administrator is still laser-focused on old slice, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch Slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less-than-legal business opportunities. I wish I could wink. But it always looks like I have something caught in my eye. Constable Keene? Now that is a damn shame. Am I right to think this wasn't a workplace accident? It seems murder is becoming an unsettling trend on Eridanos as of late. Thank you for informing me of Constable Keen's passing. When you find her killer, please be certain to make them suffer. We may have been on opposite sides of the law on occasion, but we were not enemies. Perhaps it will shock you to hear her loss saddens me. Maria was a decent soul, and Law knows those are in short supply around here. A little square, perhaps, <laughs> in her dedication to the rules, but good nonetheless. I'm also saddened to have lost an occasional drinking buddy. She was quite good at cards, you know. Indeed. But let's discuss something else. Do you have other matters requiring my attention? Very well. A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research. But how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? I also arranged to have Helen supplied with mag picks, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. That she bought in bulk? Not particularly. It takes time to learn to use tools like that deftly. I wonder, did she run out of time in the end? I might. I just might. Your point, Inspector? Yes, I suppose you have. Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes, whatever shape it takes. That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? Tell me, do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of petty career jealousy? Hmm? Good. That's good, Inspector. Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. One moment, if you please, Inspector. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. What, or who, made you decide to investigate me?
Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then, did you need anything else? Very well. All right. Was there anything more you needed? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. Transmission receiver location, unclear. Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. Ominous threat transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. The area within a 0.5 meter radius of the book possesses a dust coating comprised of at least twice the number of particles. That is highly likely, Inspector. What's that you found? No, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. Hi there. Sorry, this area is off limits to port vision. Oh, wait half a second. You're the inspector. Sorry about that. I'll buzz you right in. Feel free to have a look around, sir. So this is where Slug houses all its completely legally obtained inventory. Hmm?
You're the inspector, aren't you? Baskin Cannon said you'd be by about the cargo that's been going missing. Gosh, this is so neat. A real-life inspector. What's that like? Have you solved any mysteries yet? Ever had to shoot a suspect? Right, of course. Just tell me how I can help. Everyone here at Freight Storage and Processing, for a start. Thing is, the cargo is going missing before the shipments even get to the warehouse. Best I can figure, it's probably getting lost in the shipping yard. As for who has access there, Benton Chan, he's the shipping yard manager. He told me it's mainly just the loading automechs that handle cargo. Nah, Benton's too lazy for crime. The extra work would kill him. Last time I asked him to check the automechs, the whole head told me he couldn't help because he was dead. Yeah, especially when he kept shouting, Dead people can't hear anything! at me. On the bright side, I'm sure the dead won't mind if you decide to check those loading automechs out yourself. Hopefully, you're mechanically inclined. That's the weird part. There's no pattern, far as I can tell. The thefts don't make sense. I ask you, who would steal a handful of Spacer's Choice Sabers, so dull they can barely cut mud, but leave the spectrum black? Ugh. Who'd be desperate enough to want to steal a Spacer's Choice Saber, full stop? Yeah, probably not. No one's dumb enough to think Spacer's Choice Sabers are worth half a damn. Then there's the most recent theft. Five boxes of pens and a couple of sodas. I can't decide which one's sadder. Well, I'm no inspector. If there is one, I'm sure you'll find it. Oh, before I forget, I figured you might want to access my terminal, so I had a spare keycard made. It's all yours. Oh no, I forgot to delete all of those incriminating messages I sent about which cargo to steal. Nah. I do have a list of cargo that's gone missing, though, if that helps any.